In this Tesla Full Self Driving Supervised Down Under Edition, negotiating oncoming traffic on a narrow road, big roundabouts, crossing intersections, and obstructive views. I can't get, I can't get over how confident it is on roundabouts. I really can't. Just amazing. And what are we doing here? Oh, we're going across another unprotected intersection. Um, okay. I'm going to give the salute. That was very courteous. So that guy was turning right, and uh, obviously, therefore, I had right away. All right, another intersection. Nothing, nothing. You know, using full self-driving is actually safer than real drivers. And I can understand why that I am now, because but really I'm not trusting, um, I am actively staying alert and looking around, adding a little bit more assistance. Well, not assistance, I'm not doing any, any inputs whatsoever. Uh, I am another set of eyes for these cameras, but I can't begin to fathom that the cameras are being used in this car and it's seen way more than I could ever see. So that's impressive. Just indicating left. And difficult to see around that corner, nothing there. Amazing, just amazing. Okay, so you can see there's pull-in spots along this road and it's got to calculate whether or not it should be pulling in or going. Okay. Great example, cars in our space. It's pulled in to the left slightly. Uh, you shouldn't be going, car. <sighs> it's going to do it. It's going to do it. And now it's got to pull in. Do the polite little hand wave. And this is actually the third time I've done this, by the way, and it did it so damn well before where I had my friend Trace in the car. <laughs> it's, it's, that's a, a good example. I'll give it that. And just remarkable that it can do what it is doing. It is just, Amazing. It's taking into consideration a lot of factors that even I think a new driver, like a, you know, L Play or a P Play, who's a year one driver, um, they would struggle. And uh, I believe locals avoid this road. And here we go, it's pulling in. Okay, great, here we go. Uh, unprotected left and right. I can barely even see. I'm gonna give it a push because there's nothing coming. There was absolutely nothing coming there. Uh, so fascinating how it didn't creep forward to see that itself. Um, I had to actually uh, press the accelerator to make it go. All right, here we go. Unprotected left turn. There's traffic to my right and on this road is pretty consistent. So the car's either going to edge out or I'm going to tap it. All right, wow, okay. I don't know how it saw that, but it didn't creep out and it actually went with confidence. In a moment, we're going to do a challenging intersection, which is this one. And this is not the bit that's going to be hard for this car to do. This is a unprotected right turn right now. Waiting to see what this car does. And there we go. I wanna go back the other way where we had to cross two lanes of traffic, one from the left, one from the right. And uh, we'll see how it actually handles the situation. So this is, I think, a great challenge. So there will be traffic from my right, there's traffic from the left, 
There is no light here whatsoever, and it is raining, showering. It's raining. It's it's a beautiful Melbourne day. Uh, so here we go. Let's see what it does. So to the right is clear, and left is clear. All right. Well, it's going in front of the car. I would have maybe done the same. It's it's better than an L Play driver. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, please do subscribe. Ask me a question down below. Maybe share this video with a friend that might be interested in the test of full self driving. And if you want to support me in other ways, super thanks is more than welcome. Kofi for early access and behind the scenes. And otherwise, check out one of these videos. Maybe it might be of interest to you.